Okay, so in this video, I'm going to actually make mojito the way I actually really do. Surprise, surprise. I know I did it the other day uh, in an unconventional way. In another video, I pretty much just dipped the whole sop of, of mint leaves and mixed it into sugar water, then poured some lemon in it. You could actually do that. It came out pretty good, actually. There's more than one way to skin the cat, and sometimes we don't have the proper facilities. One day will be, maybe there'll be no light, no electricity. There's no time to make sofrito. There's no time to properly chop things. Uh, maybe you can't even find your knife, whatever. But where there's a will, there's a way. You could actually take all these, cut it up with your hands. You could actually take this, I think it's called a mortar kind of thing, if you could see it. And it kind of grinds it. So I'm going to only have one hand. So I would just go down to the bottom and squish it and twist it around. And it's going to release some of the lemon, uh, um, uh, mint juices. Um, the more you do it, the more you grind it, the more mint you get. Then I'm going to pour um, half a lemon, if not a full one. Uh, if, if, if this mug were a little bigger, I, pr I definitely do one. But the only reason why I'm using this small one is because I have the proper stuff, you see? But I don't have this for the bigger one. The bigger one is just um, kind of like a jar like this, okay? So uh, I reuse it, actually. I keep pouring in water and pouring in more lemon and sugar. And I reuse the mint, you know, about five, six times. So this is pretty much, I think it's like more than halfway, as you can see. But it, it, when you want a treat, why go to Wawa or Starbucks when you know that you know what ingredients you're putting in here? You know where you bought this from. Now, I know I did buy this from ShopRite. It's kind of like better than the Amish. Um, I do buy the spearmint one, which is what I used the other day. I just, uh, you know, did it the unconventional way and it came out just fine. So, um... They say when you buy produce in a supermarket, the water that, that, that sprays it has chemicals in it. And that's been going on for years. I'm still alive and I see a lot of preppers and I see a lot of homesteaders and they don't look any healthier than I do, to be honest. Uh, in fact, some of them are my age and they look older than me. So, you know, I think that God, when God made us, he made us wonderfully made, as the Bible says. Our body heals it itself. The only thing is that we've been uh, eating food and, and drinking water that's been so polluted, so contaminated with the PFS that, uh, if you don't know what that is, look it up. Uh, PFS is what makes everything waterproof. It's in everything, your dental floss. It's in, it's in it, probably your toothbrushes. And so the PFS is what's giving people a lot of cancer besides a lot of other stuff, right? So we're all being exposed with the chemtrails. Even the uh, homesteaders can't escape that. Their cows, uh, their chickens, all of them are being contaminated, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, needless to say, this is not a political uh, site, right? Just, just saying, just saying, okay? Um, I do try to be careful, but I'm not going to go overboard. And that's my bottom line message here. So now I'm going to crush these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanted to show you how uh, I had a lemon that went bad, which is very unusual. So I put it in water. I don't keep uh, <clears throat> dishwashing soap in the house, to be honest with you. I have it in my car because when I go get water from my friend's well water, um, actually it's because I want to fix a flat on my air mattress. Uh, so anyway, I have my dishwashing soap out there not here so i'm going to bring it in when i come back from his house put some of it in with this lemon and pour some white sugar all these little fruit flies are going to go away and that's going to last me a long time okay i just figured i let you know <laughs> how i manage okay so this glass juice squeezer is actually the best i never knew how wonderful it is much better than those plastic ones Oh my goodness, it literally cuts right through it where the plastic ones, no matter how much strength you put, you actually do lose out on a lot of the lemon. So this one is really wonderful. And so I am getting ready to finish my mojito, the way uh, you would pronounce it in English, but in Spanish it's mojito. 
So I'm squeezing some lemon. I'm going to pour it into the mortared, uh, <laughs> that's the proper word, right? The mortared um, fresh, uh, let's see if you can get a good look at it. Oh, I don't know why it's so dark. Hmm. Come on, you can do better. Okay, so this is my uh, mint leaves. I'm going to pour this juice in here. This is the real way to make mojito, okay? So I'll be right back because I'm going to fill this with water just to make sure I wash out all of the lemon. I'm going to come back with the sugar as well. Okay, so I'm going to pour some water to wash out the lemon. Why waste it, right? Why waste it? Okay, and then I'm going to come back with the sugar. Okay, so now I'm ready to add some sugar in it. This is, I think this is a tablespoon. And voila. And uh, I'm not going to put too much more water. I was going to actually add a lot more water because I finished washing off the top part of it. But I need room for, for the ice. This is the, where it all begins. Okay, so as you can see, I have put ice in there. It's got three cubes. You cannot see it all. I am now going to rock it, baby. Woohoo! Yeah. This, this is such a delicious drink. You don't need alcohol in it. Yeah, they put flavored, uh, you know, alcohol in, 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 in already flavored drinks so you could down it, which is really poison. So why make alcohol taste good when it's really going to end up destroying your liver, or causing addiction, probably break up marriages? Uh, when you can have a nice little cold drink without alcohol. I always used to have my virgins. That's what I always called it. So now you wait a little bit, make sure it goes down. So hold on, I got only one hand. And here it is. Now I'm gonna take a drink, a, a, a sip, and I'm gonna just let you watch my little strainer, whatever here. Oh, let me tell you something. No need to fake it here. This thing is always, always on the spot. Would I use spearmint? From the Amish, whether I hit, use um, mint leaves, whether I just take the mint leaves and let it soak in water while I go do the wash, come back, put sugar, whatever. It doesn't matter. It comes out delicious. When you need a treat, instead of going out to the store for ice cream, drink, take yourself a cup of, a sip of bitter tea. Keep, keep, keep some bitter tea in the fridge. Take a sip when you got the thungries and you want some of that junk food that's killing you. And then you could... Um, you could come back around, right? Circle back and make something like this. It, this is really, really satisfying. As you can see, it's very cold. I only put three cubes in it. When I'm done with this, I will open it. I will put another half a lemon. I will put some more um, pure wa purified water in this. Repeat, repeat, repeat three, four times. And it is so delicious. Oh, my goodness. I just had my breakfast because I haven't had breakfast yet. But I just want to throw this in and a couple more things while I have the camera on. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. After you subscribe where it says subscribed, it turns into that. Just click it and it'll allow you to subscribe to all notifications so you won't miss a thing. And also, tell me what you think. I'd like to uh, see your suggestions where you're from. Uh, how you make the mojito. Any suggestions are definitely welcome. Please be nice. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye now.